Welcome back, everybody. As I was saying, as I was reading this little dagger's inscription, Blood Dagger. Blood Daggers are ceremonial weapons worn by the nobility of Regna. Their popularity has spread in recent years to the nobility of Enroth, and now they can be found throughout the land. Though, <clears throat> Though ceremonial, they are sharp and reliable blades, and a value of 100 gold pieces. So that's very useful. And try not to use a Blood Dagger on yourself on accident. It is rather painful. Um, let me check these chests. Got that. Got that. There's a crate over here, I do believe. Got it. Hey, and now this is this is what I've been looking for. Ah. Pole axe. Um, pole axe. Type two-handed axe. This type of long-hafted axe is especially used to deadly effect by eastern tribes and the elite guard of some members of the nobility. You will see that later. Aha. And a spiked club. You know, this is interesting. This little club probably is a lot better of a weapon for me to use than her own maces, so I'm going to equip that. Aha! Mace, a little more glorified club, blah blah blah. Aha! Leather armor. I don't know. This is interesting. I like that crown. Aha! Meditation. Okay. And she could use that. And now you'll see why I call this the Mage Peninsula. First off, there's tons of reagents out here, so you're going to have a lot of mages out here looking for potions to brew and whatnot. In fact, I will do that myself here in a little bit. Um, hmm. Let me cast... Wizard Eye. <laughs> Wizard Eye is not yet to the point where it can detect um, any kind of loot other than a monster kill, but... It will be up to that point soon, here. Hey, and there's a peasant wandering around. Hello! Joan the Bard. Hello, my name is Joan, and I am pleased to meet you, Damien. Council members. I wonder about the council sometimes. The decisions they've made and some of the laws they've stalled on have really contributed to the chaos around here. They've stalled any official investigation of Roland's death, and I don't understand why. I don't understand why either, but I can imagine I can have a few good guesses as to why. Mordred. A powerful artifact, Mordred is a dagger that possesses the ability to steal the health of its victim and transfer that vitality to its wielder. And you can ask her to join you. My reputation as a famous musician follows me wherever I go. If I'm with you, I'm sure some of my reputation will rub off on you. You only need blah blah, blah 1,000 gold pieces and 10% of the gold we find. This means um, she'll provide a single category bonus to your reputation. Very useful if, later on, you're trying to get the Master Light Magic ability. Which is kind of what we're going to be working towards throughout the entire game and trying to avoid... Um, losing is a good reputation. Hello! Magic Portals. Hey, it's Falagar, the person who helped us out earlier. Uh, allow me to pause it real quick here, again. Welcome back. I just had to set up, well, stuff and things. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit tired here. Uh, I've been tired all day, mind you. I'm telling you, the cold's making me lethargic. Hello. Hello there. Um, magic portals. Falagar. I've heard portals exist. No, wait, um, let me try to mimic the voice that we heard in the intro. I've heard portals exist that allow transit between two fixed places in Unroth. Knowledge of these would provide another excellent and fast way to move around the world. Advice. Hello again, my pupils. I am afraid there is nothing more I can teach you. Your experiences must guide you from this point on. I know nothing more than you do about the devils that destroyed Sweetwater, but I know who you need to ask. The Oracle in Freehaven will know what to do to rid Enroth of the terrible devils. Unfortunately, you will need the approval of the six High Council members, each of which represents one of the Lords of Enroth. You must do whatever necessary to speak to the Oracle in Freehaven and rid Enroth of the devils. What I am guessing is that the five Lords of Enroth are all pretty much not... It's not that they are investigating Lord Roland's death, it's that since 
Oh, uh, how do I say this? What's the best way to say this? It's the fact that they all can tell that whenever that with Lord Roland supposedly dead, they can taste the smell of a vacuum. And that vacuum is a vacuum of power. And they're trying to take advantage of that for their own selfish personal gains. Greetings so, and salutations! Dwarf the teacher. Teachers, expert staff defense. I can help you become... I can help you become an expert in the use of the staff as a weapon. All you need is an intermediate skill in the staff. Rank 4 and 200 gold. 2,000 gold. Teachers, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Let me see now. Um, identify item, merchant, fire, water, staff, dagger, leather. There's a little crowd of goblins out there. How are ya? Jeez. Yeah, that person there doesn't trust us because he hasn't heard about us yet. As our fame grows, people will start to talk to us. And the goblins are going down pretty effortlessly nowadays. And understandably so. About every five, every four goblins that we kill only gives us about, what, 67 experience points? It's not too much. Oh, goodness. Let me see now. 1,675 more to reach level whatever it is. And let me turn the music back on again. I keep forgetting about that. I mean, I downloaded it all. I Supposedly, you're supposed to be able to hear it. Alright, there we go. Now let's head back to town, drink a little bit from those fountains, and once we're done there, we will head to the northeast section, and that's pretty much Goblin Peninsula. Just need to get our SP back. Oh, uh, right before we do that, I want to stop here and get these two, Kristen and Tim, get them some spells. The magic of fire, air, water, and earth. Eee. I wasn't expecting for that to be so prohibitively expensive. I probably should have not have even bothered with air magic for him, but oh well. And this is a huge goblin camp out here. And goblins, they love to zig and zag towards you. Yeah, though, I really, really do not want to head into Goblin Watch and into those lower caverns, because it is pretty much like this, only there's no way out and there's no way to really rest inside there, so... <laughs> I hope that you can hear my voice a little bit better over this.
What I'm really going to enjoy is coming back here later on, whenever we have the Fireball spell. And then just coming out and with a few casts, just as simply decimating their entire camp hold like that. But that will be years from now, unfortunately.